as the war in Israel rages for a second week. 6,500 miles away in Tallahassee, something not often seen. Florida stands with Israel. A bipartisan press conference, this one announcing Florida's legislature has Israel's back. If you stand for freedom, if you stand for peace, you should stand with Israel and with Florida's Jewish community today and in the future. We are with him until the end. The proclamation to be sent to the president and Congress condemns the Hamas attacks, supports Israel's sovereignty and defense, plus demands an end to any direct or indirect financial support of Iran, which has supported Hamas in the past but denied involvement in the latest conflict. Hamas terrorists will not win because we will not let them. GOP leaders also saying they'll back the governor's forthcoming bill to sanction Iran. That as we stand with Israel, we sanction Iran. Governor Ron DeSantis announced the idea last week. It prohibits state and local governments from contracting with the nation and restricts Florida from investing in any Iranian industries. Ron DeSantis is continuously just using his bully pulpit in an attempt to bolster his failing presidential bid. Rabana Eskamani, an Iranian-American who denounces the nation's ties to terrorism, questioned DeSantis' intent, especially as current federal sanctions appear to overlap. And it begs the question of why Florida needs sanctions if we're not doing business with Iran. I'm very curious and concerned that is Florida doing business with Iran because under federal sanctions, we shouldn't be. But beyond the sanctions, House Speaker Paul Renner told us more policies backing Israel could be coming as the gavel drops in January, potentially including work to fight anti-Semitism. <laughs> Renner didn't offer details, but said there would be, quote, ongoing commitment to Israel. That's as Rep. Randy Fine again pushes for Florida to use laws already on the books, prohibiting anti-Semitism in public schools and universities, suggesting hate speech for other minorities wouldn't be tolerated. I would hope that within 60 seconds they'd be expelled. Jews will be getting the same treatment here in Florida. The Jewish lawmakers said campus protests supporting the attack on Israel are in violation and students should be expelled. That's despite First Amendment concerns from some. Fine sent this letter to the governor on Friday, hoping to make something happen. Have you heard any response from your letters? Um, I'm not interested in responses. I'm interested in action.